Hi there. This is a set of videos that I put together just for you. I look forward to reading your comments and receiving your suggestions on how to make these videos more enjoyable or ideas for specific content that you might have. Thanks for watching. Today, an Arctic Silver 1999 911 Coupe with 77,000 miles sold for $29,750. Just your average near supercar, or as car and driver noted after 40,000 miles, just your average 170 mile per hour daily driver. Many consider this just a 996 or just a 911. It's so easy when discussing these high performance driving machines to be dismissive of what are really amazing cars. As consumers, we are so fortunate to have sufficient supply to keep prices in check. When these were first introduced, I was fortunate to be able to co pilot one of these around a track at eight or nine tenths turning repeatable laps that push the car easily to 130 before braking hard and turning into the infield portion, lap after lap. I was stuck with a 3-2 coupe. Old technology. That's all for today. See you tomorrow. On Bring and Trailer today, a Cobalt Blue 1992 911 coupe with 94,000 miles sold for $103,000. Acquired here three years ago for $62,000. Well done. This was a fair sale today. And the car's a real looker, and it would improve with the included stock wheels. Yummy. 964s were a big leap from 3-2 coupes. All the good looks, more comfortable, some would say less raw, more powerful. 247 horsepower versus 214. Safer with ABS and airbags and all air-cooled 911. That's all for today. See you tomorrow. Two 1986 Porsches, a 944 Turbo and a 911 Targa. A Kalahari Beige 1986 944 Turbo with 73,000 miles sold for $29,500. A garnet red over black, one family owned 1986 911 Targa with 54,000 miles sold for $58,500. 944 versus 911 isn't usually seen as a fair fight. The turbo changed that. The neutral 944 chassis was lashed to a 220 horsepower, 258 pounds feet of torque engine. The 911 had 207 and 192 by comparison. And the cars sold at nearly identical prices. When new, 944s, 944s, 944 turbos, 944s, 2s, and later 968s are very capable cars. Still, that's all for today. See you tomorrow. On Bringing Trailer today, a Grigio Titanio 19,000 mile 2003 Ferrari 575M Maranello sold for $400,000. A big sale price, this very clean example was well sold. Another non-red 2003 575M with similar mileage sold here today, finishing at $108,000. Why the difference? The power of the six-speed manual and its limited production. Only 116 manuals came to the US 246 were produced worldwide out of more than 2,000 total 575 M's. Only one in eight has the gated six speed. The 575 M produced 508 horsepower and 434 pounds feet of torque. It sounds nice. That's all for today. See you tomorrow. For Ferrari, a Rosso Corsa over beige, 10,000 mile, 2003, 360 Spider, sold for $169,000. A low mile, clean example, this was well sold. A Rosso Corsa original owner, 1999, 550 Marinello, with 33,000 miles, sold for $182,000. Ugh. The interior didn't help the sale price of this car. It sold a bit light on the low side of the fare zone. A repainted black 1971 Dino 246 GT sold for $356,000. Originally finished in verde germolio, then black, then red, before being repainted black, this was well purchased as long as one can stomach the color changes. That's all for today. See you tomorrow.
On Bring a Trailer today, a Geyser Gray 17,000 mile 2014 Porsche 911 50th Anniversary Edition sold for $144,200. Number 1820 of the 1963 examples, sticker here was $139,000. This 991 was well sold. All 50th Anniversary Edition examples feature wider bodywork that's shared with the C4S, 91150 rear badging, chrome strips on the engine cover grille, and polished slats between the taillights. The 3.8 liter 6 features the X51 power kit, which increased output to 430 horsepower and 325 pound-feet of torque. This car is also fitted with a fab speed exhaust, and it's a slick top. Sunroof delete. It is an uncommon spec, just not spec for me. That's all for today. See you tomorrow. Five cars on Bring a Trailer were bid with their reserves not met today. A black 2006 Cayman S with 87,000 miles was bid to $17,500. An Arctic Silver over Gray 2000 911 Cabriolet with 60,000 miles was bid to $18,500. A Midnight Blue over Sand Beige 29,000 mile 2007 Boxster was bid to $20,237. A Grand Prix White 1992 911 Carrera RS Club Sport with 74,000 kilometers, one of 290, was bid to $127,000. A Black 2018 911 GT3 with 14,000 miles was bid to $163,000. That's all for today. See you tomorrow. On Bring a Trailer today, a 1993 Safari Style 911. On PCAR Market, a Safari Style 924. On PCAR Market, a black 1981 Porsche 924 Safari located in Canada sold for $6,250. More money went into making this car than it brought here. This was well purchased. A repainted chalk Safari style 1983 Porsche 911 SC Coupe 3.2 liter twin plug sold for $153,666. Obviously many mods here and some questions about ride height for this type of build. In that way it's a bit of a poser, but probably still a fair sale price. Neither of these is worrisome to future Perry Dakar entrants. They're meant to enjoy in the rugged, pothole-filled roads, streets, and highways of North America. That's all for today. See you tomorrow. On PCAR Market, a white 1995 911 GT2-style race car sold for $50,000. A track car that the seller represents can be streetable again, and this includes many of the street parts. This seems like a bargain. An Arctic Silver over Gray modified turbocharged 1989 911 Speedster Anziano Illusion with 13,000 miles sold for $70,000. Only 823 speedsters were sold here in the US. I'm not a fan of mods on a limited production car, and some of these are interesting. For the right buyer, this was well purchased. An Ocean Blue modified Euro 1997 911 C4S low tech twin turbo with 78,000 miles sold for $96,250. 440 horsepower but numerous opportunities, shocks, tires, paint, engine fan bearing, and more. This was likely a fair sale. On Bring a Trailer today, for Ferrari, a repainted Verde Germoglio and Black 1975 365 GT4 BB with 51,000 kilometers, presented by a great seller, sold for $500,365. Originally red, this BB was bid to $432,000 in May. Today, it was very well sold. One of 387 and 299 left-hand drive examples. The car is fitted with a 4.4 liter 12, producing 380 horsepower. 60 came up in a little over 5 seconds, and top speed was about 170. This was just a tick quicker than the Porsche 911 Turbo, for a few years anyway. That's all for today. See you tomorrow. Today, two 986 S's. On Bring a Trailer, a Seal Gray over Gray 2001 Boxster S with 79,000 miles sold for $17,500.
mostly a sea of gray, I admit that for some unknown reason, I'm warming to the grays and boxsters with the black trim and black steering wheels. This was well purchased. On cars and bids, a Guards Red over Black 2000 Boxster S with 29,000 miles sold for $21,000. Like the previous car, a well purchased 986. The premium here over the higher mileage gray car is warranted, and the red car seems to be the better of the two. Would a buyer be disappointed with either? I think not. That's all for today. See you tomorrow. 3997B cabs, all with special interior. A basalt black over sand beige, one owner, 2005 911 Cabriolet with 86,000 miles, sold for $32,500. Other than the sandy desert inside, a nice car at a bargain price. A macadamia over brown, 36,000 mile, 2008 911 C4S Cabriolet, sold for $64,500. Macadamia, good. Brown, bad. Unlike the previous cab, this was not a bargain. It was well sold. A midnight blue over sand beige. 47,000 mile, 2008 911 Turbo Cabriolet, sold for $74,000. A Betty, with another pit of despair. This was well purchased. I'd be a buyer of the black. That's all for today. See you tomorrow. Two 1995 Performance Convertibles. On Bring a Trailer today, a triple black 1995 911 Cabriolet with 78,000 miles sold for $64,500. As I've said, these cabs are great 993 entry points. This was a fair sale. On Cars and Bids, a yellow over black 1995 Ferrari F355 Spider with 12,000 miles sold for $125,000. A clean, low mile car, recently serviced and ready to go, this was well purchased. The Ferrari is quicker, faster, double the price. Car and Driver called this a license looking for suspension. When new, this $125,000 Ferrari was $136,000. The $64,000 911 was about $70,000. Rather good value retention over the past three decades. That's all for today. See you tomorrow. On Bring a Trailer today, two Guards Red over Black open top Porsches, an 86 Targa and a 2006 cab. A Guards Red over Black 1986 911 Targa with perhaps 68,000 miles sold for $58,500. I like this car. It's not perfect. It won't win any shows in this condition, but it will receive smiles and appreciation wherever it goes. And it's sold at a bargain price. Another Guards Red over Black open top. This a 2006 911 S Cabriolet with 16,000 miles sold for $60,100. Pushed a bit higher than I would consider fair, this was well sold. As an owner of 86 and 2006 sunroof coupes, I can say that a wider roof opening often crosses my mind. The 997 is substantially more capable, comfortable, and safe, but as good as our 997s, they certainly haven't reached the beloved status of the 32911s. That's all for today. See you tomorrow. In today's video, a driver 32 Targa and a very nice 3.2 Targa. Yesterday's Guards Red Over Black 1986 911 Targa with perhaps 68,000 miles sold for $58,500. I like this car. It's not perfect. It won't win any shows in this condition, but it will receive smiles and appreciation wherever it goes. And it sold at a bargain price. A Carmine Red Over Black original owner 1987 911 Targa with 36,000 miles sold for $104,000. This one is much cleaner with lower miles and is more desirable and in a less common red. This was at the high end of the fair zone. The Carmine Targa is one that I would consider for its long-term investment potential and position in the market. The Guards Red is a driver that can be driven without much concern for its surroundings. Is the Carmine car worth $46,000 more? Not to me. That's all for today. See you tomorrow. On Bring a Trailer today for Ferrari, a Blue Swatters 1995 456 GT with perhaps 29,000 miles sold for $65,000. A spectacular price on this car. This was a bargain. There is some mileage inconsistency that's been noted here. Still, this was a good price. 
The 456 GTs are manual 5.5 liter cars producing 436 horsepower and this pushed the car to 192 miles per hour, making it the second fastest four-seater in the world behind the Porsche 959. 60 came up in the mid fours, making it quite quick as well as fast. About 1,500 of these were produced. This is one heck of a driver example. That's all for today. See you tomorrow. On peak car market today, a GT Silver over gray, one owner, 4,000 mile, 2005 Porsche Carrera GT sold for $1,320,000. The owner of this car ordered or purchased two, two identical Carrera GTs when new. One sold last year for $1,661,000, and this one is sold following the owner's death this summer. These are my favorite Porsches, period. This was well sold, not as well sold as its twin. By the way, purchase price was $448,000. Not a bad return, despite a nearly $100,000 recent service bill last December. Stunning. That's all for today. See you tomorrow. On Bring a Trailer today, a black 4,900 mile 2003 911 GT2 presented by a great seller sold for $228,000. Beautiful, well presented, and well sold. About 300 of these hit the US, packing 456 horsepower and 457 pounds feet of torque, put into a car that weighs about 220 pounds less than a 996 turbo. Mid threes, the 60. Top speed of 204. Impressive then, and no slouch today. That's all for today. See you tomorrow. On Bring a Trailer today for Ferrari, a Russell Corsa 5000 mile 2009 F430 located in Canada sold for $340,430. Collector Quality 430, this beautiful car was well sold. Factory rated output was 483 horsepower and 343 pounds-feet of torque, and sticker on this was 210,000. 60 was a four-second run, and the top end was 191 miles an hour. Odds are this is destined for a very quiet rest of life as part of a collection or in a museum. Shame. That's all for today. See you tomorrow. On Bring a Trailer today, a tale of two Targas, a 78 and an 84. A Grand Prix white over tan. Single family owned 1977 911S Targa with 132,000 miles sold for $44,250. Tan is not on my well liked list, nor is white in most cases. Still, this was on the high side of fair. A black over champagne 1984 911 Targa with 134,000 miles sold for $49,800. This Targa is so much more car than the previous white one. This was a fair sale price. A more structurally rigid body, more power, more comfortable, more reliable, and more attractive. This is a much better purchase. That's all for today. See you tomorrow. On Bring a Trailer today, a Grand Prix white modified 1987 911 Turbo Coupe with 79,000 miles sold for $137,000. An exceptional car, this was a fair sale, near a bargain. The silver gray interior is striking and wonderfully offset by the black dash, steering wheel, and door caps. In a stock car, 60 comes up in the fours and the car doesn't stop until 157. This one having been massaged, let's say maybe in the low fours or high threes and well over 160. These did have the nasty handling habit near or at the limit of swapping ends in a less than elegant manner. This is a value play that can be enjoyed at will. That's all for today. See you tomorrow.
On Bring a Trailer today, a light yellow 42 years old 1974 911 coupe with 168,000 miles presented by a great seller sold for $117,000. This is a car with a history, lots of miles, and the good presentation has convinced the audience that the experience has made this example more valuable. 175 horsepower fairly balanced handling, and a timeless shape. That's justification enough. That's all for today. See you tomorrow. Two Arctic Silver Porsche 911 Targas. On Bring a Trailer, a 2007, and on Picar Market, a 2002. Let's take a look. An Arctic Silver 37,000 mile 2007 911 Targa 4 sold for $50,000. A decent car, this was at the high end affair. An Arctic Silver 2002 911 Targa with 118,000 miles sold for $21,300. A few items to be addressed here, but a big bargain. Obviously, the major design differences between these cars is the front end styling and the interior updates, aside from the 997's all wheel drive, and the weight penalty. 996C2s are about 300 pounds lighter. That's all for today. See you tomorrow. Today we'll compare a Porsche 911 C4S and an Anniversary Edition. On Bring a Trailer, an Arctic Silver 2003 911 C4S Coupe with 122,000 miles sold for $27,500. This car has a questionable clutch and the IMS has yet to be addressed. It was well purchased. An unsold competitor to the C4S is a GT Silver 4-liter powered 2004 911 40th anniversary with 40,000 miles that was bid to $49,500. The 1963 anniversary editions were all fitted with an exclusive option list, including a higher output engine, the GT Silver paint, limited slip, and the M030 suspension. C4Ss do come in a full range of colors, but they weigh more because of the drive components over the front wheels. They get the turbo suspension and wider body at the rear, and I think the styling is exceptional. That's all for today. See you tomorrow. On Bring a Trailer today, a 928 on 928. Mm, a Minerva Blue 1979 928 with 63,000 miles sold for $100,000. A beautiful car with fun Pasha interior. This was well sold, and the price well deserved. Most 928 fans migrate toward the ends of the production cycle, desiring either an early base car or a late GT or GTS. Here we have a wonderful early example, without the door edge guards common on later models, and with a restoration that sets up the new owner for many miles of smiles. I like this color nearly as much as the petrol blue example I ran into at the Bring a Trailer alumni event in LA, both are fantastic cars. That's all for today. See you tomorrow. On Bring a Trailer today, a Carrera White 38,000 mile 2007 911 GT3 presented by a great seller sold for $147,997. A relatively high price for a 997 GT3, but a good price on this car. I love 997s, and these share one of my favorite things behind the wheel. Simply pulling mid threes to 6,000 RPMs in third gear. It's a small bit of fun that you can exercise every day when driving. Push back into your seat and listening to the sound produced behind you. No, it's not an F-355, but it is extremely satisfying. Every day. That's all for today. See you tomorrow. On Bring a Trailer, a Carrera White 38,000 mile 2007 911 GT3 presented by a great seller sold for $147,997. A relatively high price for a 997 GT3, but a good price for this one. A night blue 2022 911 S Coupe with 6,000 miles presented by a great seller sold for $151,000. Higher than I would prefer to pay, but with an interesting color combo that buttresses the price, this was well sold. Vastly different animals, available for roughly the same price. 
The GT3 is a classic, mostly analog, near race car for the street. The 992 is an outstanding daily driver for anyone willing to operate a third pedal. They're equally quick and fast, and that's the benefit of Porsche's continuing efforts to improve their cars. Amazing. That's all for today. See you tomorrow.